All right. Well, it's a bit fresh out here. Fresh? Just hope it don't rain. Yeah. So which one do you fancy then? I don't want a silver car. <laughs> you don't want a silver car? No, I don't want that one then. <laughs> All right, mind the bus. Walk down before I. Yeah, that's it. Before you get there. Okay, now. We've got a nice Subaru Outback. Today, you've on the brake and hit the start. Does it need to come in a bit? It needs to come in. I can't see, and I can see the back of the caravan and the drive the mirror, but this one here, I'm seeing somebody else's caravan. No, that's good. And can you see the people standing? Yeah, that's yeah. what you want. Yeah, that's fine. But you, we could be here for 15 minutes just doing your mirrors, and we'd <laughs> never get round. Right, okay then. So my darling, the way to remember this is you are now double if not treble the length. So double and treble everything up, your stopping distances, the time you need to get onto a roundabout. We're going to be doing a lot of defensive driving skills and I'm also basically going to be teaching you how to not stop keeping the wheels rolling. Because with an auto as well, yeah. and you say your tow car's auto, yeah. it's brilliant playing it's beat the lights. <laughs> yeah. So the lights are red up ahead, we're going to crawl up to them in the hope they go green, yeah. we can keep rolling. It keeps you calmer, keeps the caravan happy, keeps the eggs whole and not scrambled in the caravan. It's just, it just makes life easier rather than stop start and rushing up to things, okay? Right, the easiest thing to do is talk more when we're on the road. So if we put it into drive, the handbrake will release automatically. So because we've got cars either side of us, we're going to go a lot further forward, mm -hmm. twice as far forward as we normally would, before we make our turn, mm -hmm. okay? Okay. Right then, so we'll head towards that e-boxer in front of us. Nice and steady, nice and slow, even further, even further. Now make the turn. Keep it slow. Wonderful, we're out. Okay, so we're going to go off to the left. Otherwise, it would be a very short experience if we just went round the, uh, <laughs> the bus station. Okay, so when you're out on the road, what you want to do is centre yourself between the centre line and the kerb. If you plonk the car there, the caravan will centre up as well and you'll be within the white lines. Okay. At the roundabout, we're going to be going ahead. Second exit. So all you're going to do, just ease off the gas, use a bit of braking if necessary and draw a slightly bigger circle than you normally would. Nothing excessive, we don't need to touch the edge, just slightly bigger than you normally would. And as you go round, in your right mirror, you'll see the caravan reacting yeah. with, the, with the curb there. Perfect. And this is all at your speed, there is no rush at all. Okay, so we've got a barrier, we've got to go all the way up to it to allow it to raise and then we can go through. I hope you've got my best side there. Oh yeah. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. That's it. So you're going to go all the way. You see the pressure pad etched in the ground there. Let it go all the way up. Oh yeah, of course I see. Go on, why we've got to let it go all the way up? Because it had a right to Spot on, well done. <laughs> Two metres behind you. Right hand lane for me. <coughs> and we're going to be turning right. So nice and slow on the approach. Tell everyone where we want to go and get looking. Can we keep rolling? Yep. Look at that, spot on. Again, that slightly bigger circle. Wonderful, and off we go. So you're using your mirrors a lot more because you've lost your centre mirror, yeah. so you're using your wing mirrors a lot more. So, where are we, what are we going to position? Where are we going to position here? In the 
lane, where are we going to position? Right over to the curb or right over to the cones or slap bang in the middle? In the middle. Good. You will pick up the drains, there's nothing you can do about that. Yeah. Okay, roundabout, we're going to be following those two vans that have gone off on the, towards the right. So what I want you to do, slow it down. Now this time we're going to imagine a car is trying to get round us with on the roundabout. So stay in the left lane. And I want you to really go out wide around that left edge. We're going to imagine there's a car trying to sneak up on our right-hand side. Even further, even further. That's the spirit. Can you see that caravan? Yep. It's following you right the way around yep. on that outer edge. So if there was a cheeky car, you wouldn't have taken him out with the caravan. Right, he's waving us through. You always have to be careful. You get bonus points for hitting them. But <laughs> <you've got> them. <laughs> We're going around to the left now. So as we come round, we need to move into the centre lane. So we're going to use both mirrors because we're on the corner. Let's it bring it round. Both mirrors, have a look, can we move over? Use those towing mirrors as well. Brilliant. Okay, so what colour's the lights? The red. Okay, so we so don't need to it? rush. Have we got anything behind us? No. So there's no problem. We're not inconveniencing anyone. We just keep it nice and slow. At the top of this lane, to we're going to go into this lane here, perfect. And if we have to stop, it's a nice smooth stop, so everything in the caravan is still where you want it to be. Again, you remember to put it away. It will put your handbrake on, I don't want to cook you, because I've got heat and seats on there. Okay, so as we come on to the roundabout, A45, I'm sending you to Coventry, A45 Cov, there you go. So just bring it in a bit more, we're coming out a bit too wide away from the curb. Okay. Because we've got to think about what's on that side. Yeah. So again, what's happening with the traffic lights? Brilliant. So... Hey, look at that. Feeling calm. So, yeah. Stay in this lane, Arlene. Arlene, sorry, and we're going to be going off round to the left. What you've got to remember is on the highways like this, lorries use them and buses, okay? So yes, you have to make minor adjustments, but nothing massive. It's when you're getting down to country lanes and, and into campsite entrances, that where, that's where you have to exaggerate some of your road positioning. Right. We're staying in this lane, and basically we're gonna run alongside the A45 and drop back down again, following signs for Brown Hills and Leamington. Okay. Can you feel the caravan? Look, really, it's a bit heavier. Yeah. Nothing too bad. Nothing too bad. You're going to get a bit of replay from the bumps. Yeah. Yeah. So you got that. Which is good because if you don't, it means caravan. <laughs> we don't want that. It's still there. You need to feel it. Everyone goes, oh, I don't like feeling it. No, you need to feel it. If you can't, it means it's missing. <laughs> okay, so the lorry is going to be joining us. So we have to be, when you're a caravaner, you're a nice motorist, all right? Yeah, there's so, no point. Exactly, there's no point having an argument with him, just let him on. We're starting to slow down anyway. So we've got traffic lights and a roundabout and a downhill. What are we going to deal with first? The downhill. Good, I'm feeling the braking, well done. Forget what's ahead at the moment, just bring that speed down. That caravan wants to push you and you've got to control it. We're going left, first exit. And again, we can now incorporate playing Beat the Lights as well. Oh, you're getting good at this. <laughs> we should have placed a bet, we'd have done quite well out of it. <laughs> but you do it when they're all, the, all, all green all the time though, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I'm just an automatic car. I think that's the option. It does really. make life a lot easier, I have to say, when you are doing it. That's it. So now a bit of power, don't be afraid of the accelerator because we now need to pull that caravan up this hill and get away from the roundabout as well. The caravan now, because you're going uphill, wants to hold you back. I like to refer to them as petulant children and you've just <laughs> got to be ahead of them, think, think ahead of them, second guess what they're going to do yeah. and command them. Yeah. And then they actually well, eventually tow the line quite nicely. Yeah, true. <laughs> and dogs. <laughs> and dogs. Feeling alright? Yep. Good. That's it, good. Bit of power, pull us up that hill again.
again. We've got a dead weight on the back, and I'm not talking about your other half. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Do apologise. <laughs> Just a friend. Just a friend. This way to look after the dogs. I must be looking after the store. <laughs> okay, so we're going to follow the lorry in front off towards Brown Hills. It's just a change of direction, not a change of speed. So do you all go caravanning together yeah. then? We've got a motorhome, so... Oh, you've got a motorhome. Yeah. I'm a motorhome. Yeah. You've got a caravan. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I have done caravans, I've had two. Yeah. And now I've got I'd, I'd love to try it. It's just different ways of doing things. Yeah. You know, as you know with a motorhome, you've got to at least have one dinner in the cupboard. Yeah. In case you didn't get into the supermarket yeah. you wanted to. That's it. Um, and a little bit of water in the tank, not too much. Exactly, but then the caravans have to go on a site. We yeah. couldn't park in pub car parks. And yeah, things. or so lay, yeah. There's pros small lay yeah. yeah, there's pros and cons on both sides. It depends how you want to holiday. Yeah, some people have both, don't they? Well, yes. I am. I do actually have both, but my caravan's a training caravan. Oh, it's quite, right. it's quite old and drafty, so it's more for training than actually yeah. using. Okay, so we've got a roundabout coming up. We're going to be going first exit off back to the NEC. I want you to think about everything we've talked about, or how you approach, how you deal with it, not stopping. doesn't matter it was a really nice stop it was nice and smooth and you still got a slight little roll in there brilliant well done so again bring it back to your left so we first exit off how are you feeling not bad better than i thought are you feeling relaxed yeah good that's your priority i'm gonna go left first exit I always say the holiday starts from the moment you leave home. You've got plenty of time to feel stressed putting the awning up. You do not need <laughs> yeah. to worry about driving there. That's it, good. And we're now back into a 30 mile an hour zone. You're my first run this morning, so I'm not sure which way they're running the traffic. So we may hit a bit of the um, car park traffic. I was going to snore because I thought it was less than 13 this bit. <laughs> no, it's only once we get inside the barriers that it gets back right. down to 15. Okay, so keep checking those mirrors. At the roundabout, we're going left again. First exit, it's all yours. You're on your own. And use two hands on the wheel and keep them level because where you're on the top with a slight rock it only does that to the car but it does that to the caravan it will exacerbate what you're doing okay we're going to go ahead at this roundabout as well so left hand lane and i want you to stay within the white lines so as you come onto the roundabout do you remember we did it at the beginning hug yep. the left side yep. as you go around check your right mirror tell me if the caravan stays in the white line yep there you go so all you've done is just moved out a little bit more. When it's safe to do so, could you move one lane to the right for me, please? Brilliant. And at the roundabout, we're going to be going right to gate one. So where that white car's come out, we're going to be going in. Right, so here's the traffic coming in. We may find we have to go against the highway code in a minute and bully <laughs> our way out, but we'll see how we go. Let's see what he's going to do. Depends how calm, uh, kind they are, doesn't it? Well, I, I love the guys in the high vis because they do do a good job, but they do actually inconvenience us at times. <laughs> right. Go on, let's go. Thank 
you. <laughs> right, edge out a bit. Thank you, darling. Thank you, nice lady. There we go. Thank you. Again. So keep going round, I'll tell you. Keep going round, you're looking for the red cones and you want to be in the empty lane, so the right hand lane of the red cones. That's it. So it's got narrower. So when it gets narrower, again, centre yourself up and bring the speed down. Smaller the gap, slower the speed. So I'm hoping they're going to press the button. We shouldn't have to stop. Are they there? The yep, is going to do it, so that barrier is going to go up. Why do we wait for it to go all the way up? Because <laughs> you'll take your TV aerial off. <laughs> said brilliant. Straight on again, yep. Service van, fire van. So when you're overtaking something, move out two or three car lengths earlier than you normally would. So then you pass the obstacle in a straight line, car and caravan. Stay out twice the time you normally would. Check your mirror before you bring it back in. There you go. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to loop round and I'm going to direct you. We're going to go into that top corner and I will direct you. So signal goes on. So we turn a bit later because otherwise the caravan will hit the railing. So you want to go a little bit later than normal. Now take it in. Good. Take it round across the front of the pod. That's it. Big turn in. Big turn, big turn, big turn, big turn. And what we're going to do is wiggle over there. So stay forward a bit longer, a bit longer. Now big turn to the left and now a big turn round to the right. Big turn, bigger, 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 bigger. There we go. Hold it there. I'll move that railing, don't mind. Someone else is filming you there, Aileen. Okay. And back to park. Wonderful. Wasn't quite as bad as I thought. It's alright, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> so what key things do you think you're going to take away? The slowing, just slow down rather than stopping, just let it roll and into the kerb rather before you go down. Just take your roundabouts. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Well done. Thank you very much. Alright, we'll give it a go. We do run our courses as well, which you're more than welcome to come on. Mm -hmm. um, and that's we've got probably for yourself it would be a confidence builder because that's more about going forwards and mm -hmm. towing on the highway um whereabouts do you live uh, addingston that's good. right okay york will be the closest one then <laughs> oh dear <laughs> but again if, if in doubt you could always look for um you might find someone that does the b plus e trailer mm -hmm. training um and because i do it i offer that but then someone might come out and meet you with your car and caravan and you have a play with your own car and caravan if you yep. knit with you, if you wanted to do it. Yep. It's worth having a go yep. first, see how you get on. Yep, yep. Okay. That's great, thank right you very then. much. Hit the start-stop for me. Okay, and we have got moving vehicles, so just watch yourself. Yes. 